Welcome to Storybook Nanny. Subscribe for more books read aloud. Pinkalicious and the Pink Parakeet by Victoria Kane. It was bird week at school, my favorite week ever. Every day my class learned fun facts about birds. I told my family everything I learned. Fact, I told mommy. Hummingbirds can fly backwards. Fact, I told Daddy. Robin eggs are blue. Fact, I told Peter. Orioles can eat 17 worms in a minute. Big whoop, he said. So can I. The last day of bird week was the best one yet. My class went on a field trip to the house of birds at the zoo. On the bus, I took out my bird book. I flipped through the pages and saw something amazing. Fact, I cried. There's a pink parakeet. It's small and sweet and pink horrifically pink. Yes, said Miss Penny, but it's a very rare bird. You may not see one today. I wasn't so sure about that. I was really good at bird watching. When we got to the house of birds, I couldn't believe my eyes. I saw one red parrot, two blue peacocks, six green and yellow lovebirds, and a toucan with an orange beak, but not a single pink parakeet. Soon it was time to leave. I'm sorry, Pinkalicious, Allison said. Maybe you'll see one another day. We started walking out together. But just as we got to the door, I heard a strange call. Pink, 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 pink. What was that? I said. Pink, 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 pink. Allison and I looked at each other. The parrot, we cried. We ran over to the parrot's perch. He's telling us something, I said. The parrot lifted its wing. It was pointing to the door. Pink, 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 it called. A pink parakeet. At last I saw one. It was right inside Miss Penny's hood. Wait, Miss Penny, I called but she was already out the door. By the time we caught up to Miss Penny, it was too late. Her hood was empty. The bird was gone. I was so upset. I told Miss Penny what happened. Maybe it didn't fly far, she said. Together, the whole class searched for the missing pink parakeet. Everyone scanned the treetops but the leaves were too thick. We looked through the bushes, but we didn't see a thing. I was about ready to give up when I remembered my bird book. I read about the parakeet again and came up with a plan. Fact, I read out loud. Pink parakeets eat fruit. Who has a snack? Molly had cherries from lunch. Fact, I said. They also like taking baths. Jack filled a small dish with water. We put everything together. There's one last fact, I said. These parakeets tweet a lot. So here goes. I closed my eyes and thought pink thoughts. Then I whistled my very best pink horrific bird call. Suddenly, I heard wings flapping. My classmates gasped. I opened my eyes, and there it was. The pink parakeet was eating fruit while taking a bath. Miss Penny picked up the parakeet gently and brought it back to the birdhouse. The whole class cheered. When she came back, Miss Penny laughed. Pinkalicious saved the day, she said, and that's a fact. 
If you like these videos, support Storybook Nanny on Patreon.